Welcome to this very late subscriber video. I made a promise and today is the day. This episode is dedicated to a machine I've so long been fascinated with since I started this YouTube channel. A machine built not to talk, not to translate Morse code, but to translate it into perfect code. This video is in special honour of the Speech Morse Generator, also known as the Scratch Machine, or by its classified des designation name, also known as device 32620. Welcome back to Number Station School Live UK. This is not a full radio in-depth video, but a video on the forgotten of Cold War era communication technology. At its centre of all piece of equipment designed not to transmit voice, but to convert it into pure machine, perfect and Morse code and more. During the Cold War communication had to be convert, convert quick and untraceable. That's why number stations became so essential. These eerie shortwave broadcasts sent from encrypted instructions to agents across the globe, hidden in plain sight on frequencies anyone can tune into, but only a few could understand at required times. Precision and risk, a human operator could make mistakes. That's why the speech morse generator, also known as the scratch machine, came into play. So what is the device 32620? It wasn't just a transmitter, it was an entire messaging system. Built by the GDR, likely under the guidance of Stasi or in collaboration with the Soviet engineers, it was designed to do something rare, convert recorded human speech into automated Morse transmissions. This meant it could speak a message naturally and the device would handle the rest, converting timings and encoding it into perfect streams of dots and dashes. So how does the speech morse generator work? The speech morse generator or device 32620 was designed to turn spoken messages into morse code automatically. How here is how it worked. Number one recording. A person would record a short message into a microphone. This message was recorded onto a magnetic tape. Number two, phonemine matching. The machine analyzed the speech. It didn't understand the language like we do, but it could recognize specific sounds like syllables or phonemines and match them to their characters. Once the words were broken down, the machine translated each into letters, then into Morse code, and then done using a electronic logic circuit. Finally, it used a tone generator to provoke to produce the dots and dashes it was sending out at fixed machine precise speeds, no pauses, no errors, no emotion. This whole process removed the need of a human Morse operator. The machine could take a voice recording and broadcast it as a clean coded message, perfect for converting options. Now we're going to take a look at a demonstration of using the massive uh, speech and Morse generator. I do want to give a massive thank you to the Crypto Museum for actually uh, supplying and helping partner with me with this video to help with their virtualizing, emulating uh, Stasi speech Morse generator. I also want to thank you, Mamie, for helping for the digital preservation and emulation. Now we can bring this beautiful machine back virtually and everyone else can use it. Thank you. Let's get on to that video. Okay, so we are over here on the computer. And thank you to Mamie and the um, very generous people over at the Crypto Museum or the Saito Museum. We are over here with the uh, Spratch machine, also known as the Stasi Speech Morse Generator. Now, I'm on the German uh, EEPROM card at the moment. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head to input. Then we're going to say tape reader, which we're going to go no or zero, we're going to monitor, we're not going to do Morse, and we're not going to do Morse. So now we're going to get to our speech. So now I'm going to program a little something. Eins, six, acht, Achtung, 
Standard yes, mode, no, yes, I'm put tempo to nine, hi, yes, and now we're going to play back. In Morse code. Okay, so we're going to use tape reader, no. Keyboard, monitor, yes. Morse, no. Morse, no. Speech. Eins, zwei, drei. Hold on. Okay. First off, standard. Input. Tape reader, no. Monitor, yes. Morse, no. Morse, no. Okay, we've now head over to the speech. This is where we are able to program like a proper number station. So we're going to go ahead and program a custom message. So I'm going to program this and I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. So the first thing you can do is with this like virtual EEPROM card, Eins, you can program two, any of the three, different... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, five, three. Vier, neun, fünf, sechs, Trennung, fünf, vier, null, 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 Achtung, 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 null, 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 Ende. So you can program custom transmissions and when you're ready press STI. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, eins, fünf, drei, vier, neun, fünf, sechs, Trennung. And what you can do is go to mo mode, standard, no, nope. no, nope. tempo, no, tempo one, hi, yes. And what you can do is you can go to tape reader, no, keyboard monitor, yes, Morse, no, and Morse, yes, for example. Tempo 9, high, yes, and then play back. And then you can play it back. Now, I do find this really cool, as even like a general thing if you want to play around with it. I mean, this is such a cool emulation, and because this is off of the real uh, Scratch machine, it does everything that the speech Morse generator does. So if I go into... Oh no. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 7, 9, 6, So it only works on the numpad, by the way. 6, 1, 2, 6, 4, 4, 0, 0, end. Okay. So as you can hear, I can go to mode, standard yes. Or for example, mode, no. Yes. Hi, no. I 
I'm going to say this thing is very temperamental. So sometimes it has the audacity to go into Morse code. Now they do other ones, so let's head over to the other variants. Okay, so here we are on the Polish variant. So we're going to go take reader no, monitor yes, Morse no, Morse no. One, two, three, oblique, zero, zero. 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 Attention, one, six, five, six, five. One, six, five, six, five. Two, two, seven, two, seven. Two, two, seven, two, seven. Six, six, four, six, nine, or six, six, four, six, nine, or three, three, eight, three, four, three, three, eight, three, four, two, five, five, two, five, two, five, five, two. Fiver, attention, eight, seven, eight, six, fiver, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, two, four, nine, or seven, three, two, one, nine, or zero, eight, zero, zero, one, two, Zero, three, four, nine, or three, seven, out. So this is a message I programmed with E11A. Now this is an older voice because this is on the original card of the scratch machine. So you do have to be aware that sometimes the EPROMs aren't as new as you think. One, two, three, oblique, zero, zero, 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 one, two, three, oblique, zero, zero. 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 One, two, three, oblique, zero, zero.
So as I was talking about how the scratch machine can be a little bit of a sort of iffy of the um, emulation of it. But still, I think this is such a cool emulation and for free as well. You can't really moan at it. So, let's head back to more about the scratch machine. Now you can see what the machine is capable of. Let's go over the legacy and mystery. Very few of these devices survive today. Some were destroyed, others were locked away and forgotten in archives across Eastern Europe. We only know about them thanks to declassified East German technical manuals and the work of hobbyists who captured the EEPROMs and used the original systems. The original hardware likely had a built-in boards analog timing circuits and tape systems now long gone. But the concept to introduce speech to code was ahead of its time and would influence both espionage and modern telecommunication. The speech morse generator stood out as symbols with Cold War technical creativity, not the flashes, not digital, but purposely built for secretive and resilience. Its job was simple to translate the voice from the one person sending it to the agents on the field and that's what it could do. This is to me the magic and the heart of all number stations whether they are using simplified uh, special ones on the Windows XP number stations with using the voice software or whether they are using the speech morse generator. I find these the best one ever and so mysterious. I want to give another shout out to the Crypto Museum for partnering me with this project and I'll see you all on another instalment of Number Stations Call Over UK. Bye for now.